Hey everyone, such a long time. This is developer Ashish, and today we're gonna make a very basic project of deep learning that is digit classification, handwritten digit classification using MNIST dataset. I'm gonna explain you what is MNIST dataset, and this tutorial, just like my previous tutorials, gonna be very beginner friendly. So any beginner who don't know anything can work on this project, can watch my tutorial and work on this project without any tension. I'm going to explain each line of code. Okay, so don't worry about anything. First, we're going to load the MNIST dataset. Now, let me tell you what is MNIST dataset. Basically, it is, um, it just, you can say, the MNIST database is a large database of handwritten digits. Okay that is commonly used for training various image uh, like for training various image processing system like see what is this the mnist dataset okay is an acronym that stands for modified national institute of standards and technology dataset it is a dataset 60000 small square 28 by 28 pixel of grayscale images of handwritten single digits between 0 and 9 just see this just say this okay this one i am loading um, okay mnist data set consists of 60000 images of 0 to 9 and every zero is different here you can say these are the handwritten numbers okay one is different two is different and total overall we have 60000 images and the per image size is 28 by 28 okay so every every image of 0 is 28 by 28 pixel every image of 9 is 28 by 28 pixel and we have total 60,000 images so we have a lot of data to play okay so don't worry about anything it looks like this every image is 28 by 28 pixel okay so we just gonna give this data okay to our neural network for training and it gonna predict if this one is two or three or four or five, whatever this one is, whatever this, what is this, what is this? Okay, simple. So first we're gonna load, then we're gonna uh, split into training testing. I'm gonna explain what is this. Okay, and just see. I mean, the training means in the data. In the fourth position, we have this image, and it will predict if this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. After splitting the data, see this is the extreme part. Okay, means the training data we're gonna split whole 60,000 images, means 70% for training and 30% for testing. Okay, and we go just gonna do normalization. What is normalization? It is a you can say feature scaling part. What is feature scaling? I'm gonna explain you. Okay, and after feature scaling, it's gonna become it's gonna look like this. Just see. Uh, four okay means it's normalization is just a basically means it will scale down your data between zero and one okay between zero and one okay i'm going to explain you in the brief and we're going to make our simple cnn model okay i'm going to explain every line of code after compilation and training we're going to evaluate and we're going to save the model we're going to load the model we're going to test on the x test okay this is the prediction and I'm gonna tell you how to see it in an integer manner and see in the x in the 13th position in the test okay in the test data x test is this image and after prediction it will tell you that this is zero and if you say in the 25th number in the x test data it is also like zero let me try um, this is okay three we can see three but let's see what our model will tell Okay, this is three. So that's how we're gonna make our simple digit handwritten digit classification using neural network using deep learning. You can say okay using MNIST data set. So let's start. Okay, so let's start decoding and first we're gonna import our one library that is import and so STF. Now how to if 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 someone is very new in this Jupyter notebook and don't know how to install libraries, just put an excellent explanation mark and write pip install and the library name like TensorFlow. 
okay it will begin installing and that's how you can install any library in jupyter notebook okay now now hmm now let's talk about this nnist data set of course i've already talked but listen let's uh, consider like c this mnist data set has thousands of images of of 0 to 9 still loading i don't know why okay this mnist data set has thousand of images between 0 to 9 okay what we need to do is is we need to split this data 70 percent for training and 30 percent for testing okay just visualize this if this is a hundred percent data set okay just imagine and we need to split 70 percent of the data for training and we need to keep 30 percent of data for testing okay it's simple so let's first load mnist is equals to tf dot keras like from tensorflow from keras from data sets we're gonna load mnist okay and once it's get loaded you can just simply see um it's still running and till then let's write uh, code for x train x train like how we can split those data x train y train y train and now what is y what is x and what is y okay see see x is an image x is the image y is its label okay so x y image label image label x y so we need both x and y so we are splitting we are storing and splitting x and y 70 percent of x y 70 percent of you know both for training and 30 percent for testing okay and now x train y train and for testing x test we are naming it x test and y test okay and if we do like this if we do like this mnist dot load data okay it will automatically it will automatically split 70 percent of its data into x train and y train and 30 percent to x test and y test that means we don't need to um, do that sklearn uh, pre-processing thing like x train um, splitting those data in x train y train this line will automatically do it okay so that's the you you can say uh, advantage of using mnist data set okay well it's still loading i don't know why okay it's loaded and basically i needed to change the notebook and all okay i don't know why sometimes it happens all right let's load this and just see if you call now x train okay it will um load it in the array form okay like see every input you this is an image okay and your mo your cnn cnn model don't know what is image at all so you need to convert it into numbers okay this is an mnist data set so it will already it will basically convert this automatically but if you watch my previous tutorials we uh, like uh, of dog sources cats classification that like project you know how to convert this manually okay so this is a very basic project of course so just uh, so that i can just come back and all now the next part is feature scaling now what is basically feature scaling means if you just see this now x train zero uh, means i'm just mm, want i just want you to see if you type any number like uh, let's say eight you can just see or anything okay uh it 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 has converted this the index of let's just okay forget it uh this is x train okay 
and if you want to see this first column no? or you can say this first index of this x train you can simply do this but see here see here okay your cnn model should should not take this much uh, um, magnitude you can say okay like see 253 the um, difference between 0 and 253 is huge okay between 0 and 253 the difference is very huge so what we need to do we need to scale down this all data okay into a particular range okay that's what feature scaling means difference between 18 and 30 is huge yes it's huge so we need to scale down this data into a particular uh, range okay that's what we call feature scaling it has two types basically standard it's standardization and normalization in what we're gonna do is normalization here in standardization we we do standard deviation of everything okay but in normalization what happens is every number we're gonna scale down between 0 and 1 okay so it's possible that so in a particular range G, the difference between 0 and 1 is not huge okay so every number is in a particular range now after we do after we will do normalization and the value is gonna be still same means this 253 will become 0 0.253 but its value the mm, the you can say the data it has stored it will not get affected okay means if just for an example now just for an example if this just for an example if this this range has the data of let's say number one okay number one uh, okay this is all zero uh, but take this okay this is not all zero if this this particular range has a data of say number one or number two okay like for cnn model this data will give number two for training okay but when you scale down to from 253 to 0.253 okay only the numbers gonna change only, only the numbers the magnitude gonna change but the value that it or the data it has stored like say 2 it's not gonna get affected it's not gonna get change okay so don't worry about that only the only the magnitude only the difference between 0 and 253 gonna change okay so we're gonna scale down all these values into a particular range how we're gonna scale is simple mm, we're gonna again store this into x train again okay x train is equals to tensorflow dot keras dot from you that's how we call normalization uh, normalize this data normalize what normalize x train normalize x train and axis one axis one means um, you can say rows okay uh, every row axis zero is columns i hope i am right uh, Hmm. Now see here, okay. Sorry, axis zero is for rows, okay, and axis one means for columns, okay. We gonna basically, you can say in a simple words, we gonna um, convert every columns, okay, every columns, and we gonna normalize it, okay. So and we are storing this again into x string, and same we gonna write it for. Uh, X test also. Okay, let me. Um, okay, let's run this and and basically, first you gonna see the difference. Um, like see, this is zero zero zero, and this is you can see. Okay, and now it's just gonna become if you run this again, X train zero like see it has run and see the difference zero point it has scaled down between zero and one okay and see now this all that was that 222 i think this might be something here you will find this okay 253 has become 
जीरो पॉइंट टू फिफ्टी थ्री जीरो पॉइंट टू फिफ्टी सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेवन जीरो पॉइंट टू 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 जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू सिक्स ओके सो एवरी फीचर है स्केल डाउन बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन ओके अवर मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स आर कंप्लीटेड एंड नाउ दिस डेटा इज रेडी टू गो इन टू सी एन एन मॉडल ओके नाउ वॉट इज सी एन एन सी एन एन वॉट सी एन एन वॉट डू से लेट मी ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू नथिंग वी गोना मेक अ सिंपल लेयर लाइक सी सिंपल वन लाइक यू नो लेयर बाय लेयर बाय लेयर एंड द डेटा गोना गेट यू नो ट्रेन ओके दिस इज अंसा मेक अ सिंपल यू कैन से डेंस लेयर Dense layer is just a fully connected layer like this. Okay, one layer, two layer, three layer types, and at the final output layer. Okay, um, but we don't have a single output. We have multiple output. Okay, like uh, it's just a simple CNN layer. You can say, okay, this one is a better image. Hmm, we have. this one okay we have multiple inputs like from 0 to 9 okay and we going to make two layers two dense layer dense layer is just a fully connected layer dense layer is just a connected layer with each other okay with each other and at last we going to have a softmax layer softmax layer is when you have multiple outputs okay there is a sig mode layer when you have only binary outputs means 0 or 1 okay but we have multiple outputs from 0 to 9 means either any ima image uh, either any number is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 same is in the case of input okay so we going to make this kind of layer this simple one okay so let's make this mm, model one name or model first model is equals to tf dot k ras dot layers uh sorry sorry keras dot models first models dot sequential model sequential model is this just a simple model okay sequential hmm. now we're gonna add a flatten layer now what is flatten layer let me explain you okay then we're gonna add the dense layer What is flatten layer? Basically, tf dot keras dot layers means from like where from where we are calling sequential from keras and under that models from tensor so under that keras under that models we have a sequential model. Okay, from where we gonna call the dense and flatten layer? Um, from layers. Okay, under keras under tensor flow. Okay. and what it's gonna do is um this is a basic feed forward uh, feed forward network and takes our 28 into 28 cross 28 means you know na the size of the image the data set what i have already explained you and makes it one Uh, sorry, one cross seven eight four. Hmm. Now, what is this? Let me explain. Okay, what what is a flatten layer in Keras or whatever you can write? Okay. Hmm. Flatten layers is used to flatten the input. Okay. Means if I just show you this simple one, mm, you can say this. Okay. Mm. Don't look here. It's just an input, and it's gonna flat it. Okay, three by three. So how many after flattening? After flattening, how it's gonna look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, so twenty-eight by twenty-eight after flattening. So twenty-eight into twenty-eight. What it's become seven eighty-four. Okay. So it's just gonna flat those layers. Okay. That's all. you can see here also this is all the layers and it's going to flat it okay it's as an input it's it's our input layer you can say okay it's our it's our input layer so model dot 
So we have defined what kind of model we have sequential and our first layer is gonna be flatten layer. Okay, flatten layer model dot add what's I gonna write what I gonna actually do is basically model dot add uh, layers dot second layer gonna be our dense layer of 128 128 now what is 128 let me explain you one division is equals to tf dot Neural network dot relu and what is relu? I'm gonna explain everything. Don't worry about that. Hmm. It is a simple, a simple fully connected layer. Okay. Uh, and this is a and what is sequential? A feed forward network. Feed forward model basically. Now what is dense layer? Here this is this is our flatten layer the first layer as an input okay what a dense layer fully connected layer okay now what is 128 this uh, <laughs> uh, you can say imagine this just visualize it this a dot first dense for not layer but first dense neural network uh, neuron neuron okay second neuron third neuron fourth neuron fifth neuron sixth neuron 120 neuron means we have uh, you can say mm, let me just keep this here we have first layer as 784 neurons okay in our first layer this is four neuron uh, in our first layer we have 784 neurons in our second layer which is connected to our first layer okay which is called dense layer which is fully connected to our first layer in our second layer we have 128 neurons okay and if i get any um okay first let me finish this and in our third layer we also we again gonna have 128 neurons now now uh <laughs> this is basically um, and uh, same you can you can you can you can you can apply here okay now and see understand this one mm -hmm. now we have 784 neurons with which is connected to our second layer of 128 units that is 120 neurons which is connected to our third uh, neural uh, layer which is also having 128 neurons okay and and let me uh, find if i can find anything uh, like this okay mm -hmm input layer dense layer again dense layer which is connected to each other okay and we don't we are not gonna have the four dense layer okay this three we are having right now okay this three with activation function now what is activation function activation fun relu hmm. with means means we uh, we have basically this layer with activation function means we, activation is applied to all these layers okay means all these neurons every neuron has an activation now what is activation means hmm, hmm active oh, sorry uh, first let me explain what is activation uh, what is activation function and uh, basically the purpose of an activation function to add some kind of non-linear property to the function okay uh, no let me explain you in a... see you have all these neurons okay every neuron is having some kind of data to process for a final output okay it is training it is training by giving every neuron a some kind of data and it is training but means for an example if this neuron is having like for an input if you give an input of 9 image 9 okay and this neuron is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9 this one is having 9 okay this one is having 9 but rest what about the rest of thing now how the neural network gonna decide that only this neuron should carry the data till last and rest of the neuron 
should stop firing the data should or firing data means should uh, process, should stop the processing the data okay and only this neuron should process the data we set a threshold value okay means if if the data if the uh, uh, you can say quality of the data just as a beginner or just as a beginner thing okay like just think as a beginner if you are beginner of course okay i am telling for them if the quality of the data crosses a threshold value okay then only a certain neuron gonna fire the data or the you can sort of process the data and rest of the neuron will not process okay so means all the neuron that is getting trained here one by one one by one only that data will go further which is having more quality which is having more clarity okay which is having more clarity of the data simple so to set the threshold value now we set an activation function okay like this is the input weights with cut just <laughs> leave it and we set a threshold value okay threshold value if it crosses that threshold value okay if the quality crosses that threshold value then only it will go further otherwise it will not go further okay and the better activation function we are having here is uh, let me just close this one uh, what is relu activation right relu activation is just a, some kind of um, you can say um, we have many types of um, activation function sig uh, we gonna at last means we gonna at last sig uh, use gonna use soft max function okay uh, but right now we gonna use relu function relu function the mathematics you can just learn it like why we are using relu function the mathematical formula why it is getting used because it is kind of if it if it crosses zero right okay then only it's gonna go fire otherwise it will not it's a simple it's a simple activation function okay hmm so so means so means means we have now made it till here with added activation function okay and now the last layer the last layer the output layer leave this and output gonna be our multiple layers okay uh, that this one type like this okay input layer two dense layer we we are not going more than two dense layer and the output layer multiple output layer okay hmm but add dense 10 how many outputs we gonna have from 0 to 9 means mnist data set is having a from 0 to 9 uh, your um, numbers so total 10 activation function we're gonna use here soft max soft max because we have multiple outputs more than two if we have only binary it means zero and one we gonna use sig mode okay simple now let's run this and complete it i hope we all beginners are also able to catch model.compile now we just gonna compile the model with optimizer is equals to Adam. Now, what is Adam means? Mm, what is optimizer? Again, simple. What is optimizer? It's just a um, you can say mm, it's just optimize the function. I hope you will start like uh, optimizing mean a person in a large business who starts is to maximize profits and uh, make the business more efficient okay it's optimizing the outputs okay like this hmm. uh, i hope if we found an image hmm. oh, we don't have a good image but all right okay adam uh, and adam is an optimizer loss uh, loss loss we're gonna have 
स्पार्स ना व्हाट इज स्पार्स कैटे गोरिकल क्रॉस एंट्रोपी ना व्हाट इज दिस एंट्रोपी ना व्हाट इज दिस इफ वी इफ आई क्विकली टेल यू देन आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू लाइक इन अ क्विक वे now if i want to write what is this how will we calculate uh, cal calculate the error to to minimize the loss okay ha huh. means 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 we have two kind of loss okay categorical cross entropy we are using sparse categorical cross entropy don't go much deeper if you are beginner okay but if you are a pro or a medium or mediator you can say in categorical cross entropy 0 1 0 0 0 if your output is like this okay it will tell you like this 0.2 0.5 0.1 like this means this second one okay is having maximum number means the answer is right okay in sparse categorical cross entropy if your target index may be 1 like this it will directly tell you it is 0.5 it will not make this kind of list okay don't get confused don't go much deeper into this right now okay loss matrix is our accuracy in in, in like we want to track the accuracy on the okay accuracy i hope now compilation is completed and finally we going to train our model finally model dot fit training we going to start the training right this like this we going to train x train with respect to its labels y train and for how many pochis 10 means for 10 times for 10 times this model going to go through your all the data okay for 10 times this model going to go through your all this extra data okay let's start mm -hmm. compile compile oh oh oh, oh. completely it's uh, and 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 unknown loss sparse what is spelling uh, sparse cat go tick <laughs> so yeah oh my battery is also running down or right. go recall and i hope it starts now okay it has started let me pause this till it's get trained c c model a, a training of model is completed and now let's check the means now let's evaluate the model okay let's see uh, its accuracy and validation lost hmm means let's uh, you can say validate the model let's evaluate okay mm, or you can say no let's check the loss and accuracy like this okay model dot e evaluate whatever evaluate we going to evaluate on the x test okay and its label uh, means means we going to um, you can say test or uh, let's name it value um, validation loss or and validation accuracy means um, we going to just check the loss on this test data and we gonna check the accuracy okay and uh, hmm okay now let's print our validation loss validation first loss okay means 0.10% means almost okay validation accuracy 97% accuracy we have achieved all right it's good it's it's better means our x test data means our test data is showing that after training if you are, if you are, if you are testing on this of course the remaining 30% now we are getting 90% uh, 
accuracy now let's save the model and then we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to load and all first let's save where i want to save uh, here okay i have already one model saved so i'm not gonna run this but you just need to give the path in the semicolon and, uh, and may name the model mm, you can say uh, <coughs> digit uh, model uh, name it whatever you want and dot model extension gonna be like this r because python takes everything in the forward slash so you don't want to do forward like for everything so just put r here and see model dot save and i hope uh yeah digit hmm it is there right so training and all is completed and now you can actually close this uh means close this also or you can continue in this whatever you want so let's let's load the model before loading the model <laughs> i should have actually um show new okay it was my fault i should have shown you how does image is looking i'm so sorry about that but before loading the model let's mm, i thought i could have met plot lib dot pipe plot as plt let's run this and plt dot i am show x uh train like after splitting now x train and zero like this one we are calling uh, and plt dot show oh, oh sorry see <laughs> this x train zero which we worked in uh, like which we which i explained you like how to normalize and all this is actually basically five uh, but it's not looking good but okay like uh, let's change the way we see it plt dot c map dot binary 5 okay this is 5 okay after normalization between 0 like it was already in the array form na? Uh, after and after normalization this came between 0 and 1 okay means your neural network don't know now this is image so we need to convert this into array and then proceed for normalization and then we give that data to training and then now we can test it okay we have done testing but let's test it manually okay uh, how we gonna test it basically uh, first let's new model new model Mm, tf dot keras dot models dot load model load model which model we're gonna load same this one mm, oh sorry this one and mm, okay we have loaded the model and um you can say again mm, prediction um, predictions is equals to new model dot predict and predict on x test okay x test but all right till here we have done now 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 if we if you print this now it will show in the rm form like the predictions like whatever the number is in x test it is showing in array form don't worry about that let me just copy this code and let's actually have the fun part x uh, test in the zeroth index means the first number in the x test is 7 okay and 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 predictions and if you actually see now 7 it will show you in this array form okay so we need to convert this into number to actually see what is like to actually see the prediction in the numerical form okay so how we gonna write is np dot 
arc max means the maximum number okay of the prediction prediction uh, sorry prediction mm -hmm. prediction is zero oh and p is not defined oh i'm sorry the numpy just uh, import numpy is for mathematical calculation okay this deals with array and ah uh, np arg max prediction prediction 7 okay see means in the x test the first element is this you can say and if we predict it uh, this is in the image form and now we are doing the predictions predictions predict the zeroth num zeroth index zeroth image and what is the answer 7 okay like like see what we did here we loaded the model we predicted on x test okay so prediction is equals to whatever the prediction of x test okay so in the zeroth number what was it this one so we just converted it into a numerical form and it is showing us 7 okay now in x test uh in the position of number 8 which image is this even i can can't recognize and let's the model recognize okay this is the image and let's ask the model that in the x test that is predictions okay what is the number 8 5 this 5 it is so 5 all right in the ninth okay it is in 9 it's actually 9 um 9 and one more in 12 Oh, uh, it is again 9 in 13 it is 0 okay 0 everything is completed means we just need to let me sum up this import the model split split after do like see you can actually see in the x train fourth number you have this image okay and this is after normalization no? i uh, ran this again and then we need to do normalization we can make cnn model and after that we need to compile the model and start the training and then evaluate the loss and accuracy save the model load the model and then this, this predictions is supposed to predict everything in the x test and what is the x test means what is the zeroth image zeroth index image zeroth position Im image in the x test predict it you can see these numbers and then we just converted it into an integer form so in the 13th position we are having this image and it predicted it as zero okay and if you don't do this then it will show you in this array form so we just need to argmax and it will show you the in the numerical form that's all thanks for watching guys subscribe hit the bell icon like this video if you found this useful and keep supporting me thank you very much